all I y'all. Happy Wednesday. It's kind of late again. It's like 930. And I think when I go back to work next week, I'll be going back next Thursday. And I've been thinking <clears throat> that I might wake up early before work, like I used to do, and do my walking in the morning. Um, first thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. Have it, I haven't decided yet. But I just know that the more the day progresses, the less free time that we have. Because after work, when we get off school, we have some sort of sports practice basketball or football every day I think pretty much year year round and then every Saturday is basketball games so it gets kind of it gets pretty hectic it gets pretty hectic <clears throat> and busy as the day goes on and when I'm working I get in bed um, a lot earlier than 9 30 sometimes try to get in bed you know like eight o'clock or eight thirty. So anyways, I was thinking about doing the walks earlier and <clears throat> having that done at the start of the day. But I also really enjoy reading my Bible in the mornings. And I just got me uh, another little journal notebook. And I saw something on TikTok of this Christian page and what she does when she reads her Bible. And I really, really liked it. And she uses an acronym. And I liked her acronym, but there was a piece of it that just, it didn't fit me. So I was like, well, I'll just change the acronym. I'll just do a different acronym and make it, I'll tailor it to me. So I did. <clears throat> so if y'all are interested in that, drop me a comment. Let me know. And I might do a post about the daily, just a little daily journaling that goes along with whatever chapter that you read. I just really liked what this person did. And I took the idea and then I tailored it to fit me. So you could do the same thing. But I like <clears throat> reading in the morning. So it's Wednesday and we just got back from church and ate a late dinner and our message tonight was about being a witness and I would definitely not try in any capacity to re-say the sermon I just heard or retell it in any way, but I figured, hey, that's what I'll talk about on my, on my walk, because we are called to be witnesses, and he gave several scriptures, you know, God said, you are witnesses of me. And like, what is a witness? A witness is someone who testifies on your behalf. A witness is someone who is a living, breathing testimony. They are evidence. <clears throat> they are the eyes and the ears of the truth of whatever event that you're talking about. I'm going to make it really short and sweet tonight. I love these walks. Um, I have found myself walking way more than a mile. I think I walked four miles today. Not recording or anything, just walking. And then 
when I'm on the phone, I like to go out and walk up and down my driveway while I'm talking to my brother on the phone. But I love what we are doing here. And <clears throat> I'm thankful for it. But you know, in anything, there can be just a small percentage, even if it's just 0.01%, this just small voice, this just nagging voice that says, you're wasting your time. Just, to, just like for a split second, nobody's watching or walking with you. You're not helping anybody, blah, blah, blah. And I'd like to answer that with what he talked about tonight, because it's just like this nagging doubt. It's just the voice of the enemy that's coming in and trying to plant seeds of doubt, just so we'll quit, just so we should do something and speak truth and devotion into the world. He can't stand that. The enemy can't stand that. So whatever it takes to get us to be discouraged, but I'm not discouraged. But I appreciated the word tonight that God has called us to be witnesses. Because, you know, I don't know if you're like me, you find yourself going, I love this God. I love walking with you and praying and talking. And, and I like extending this and offering it to others to help somebody. But are you okay with it? Are you happy with this, God? Are you proud of this? Do you... Are, is your stamp of approval on it? I feel like it is, but is it? You know, like that little nagging whatever. And just tonight was just like another confirmation of, yes, he has called us to be witnesses in this world. And we've got to put stuff, good stuff out in this world. You know, when I joined TikTok back in July or August, I heard a lot of horrible things about TikTok. And I'm sure it's like any other platform. The internet has dark sides or bad things. Um, Facebook has bad things. Anything and everything on this planet can have a dark side because as when people are involved, if they don't have pure motives or whatever, you know, they can create evil. And if you want to partake in that evil, it is there for you. And TikTok has its own whatever, but it's not all bad. Christian TikToks, I love them and all that but i remember when i got the app my teenage son what did he say it was something so interesting oh i put something out like a devotion or something i can't remember what it was anyway and he just said mom nobody's interested in that on tiktok they're interested in other stuff on tiktok and i said but brady there are people like me on those platforms on these media platforms. And I said, we don't wanna see trash. We don't wanna see cursing and sexual content. We don't wanna see disgusting things or blood and gore or things that go against the Bible. But we wanna enjoy a media platform as well. There are people on there like me. There are people that will enjoy this type of content. And I said, we need more Christian people with morals and values to put out content that people can enjoy that's not sinful or terrible or disgusting. And I don't think he, saw, he didn't think about it that way. And I said, so either we can just keep throwing stones at the media platforms and saying, well, they're horrible and there are horrible sides to them. There's horrible sides to everything or we can be witnesses on these platforms that Satan seems to have a large following on. Well, there's also really good people on these platforms and we can take this tool, we can take these tools like the internet and Facebook and TikTok and YouTube and we can put family friendly content out. We can put funny things that aren't gross. We can put content out that your kids don't have to leave the room. Content that uplifts God. We need content out there for us. 
and other people they enjoy content too. Content doesn't have to be bad. Funny doesn't have to be bad and crude. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. It's a witnessing opportunity. It's a witnessing tool and we're called to be witnesses. And those candles that we have, those lights that we have inside of us, if all we're gonna do, this is my opinion, if all we're gonna do is go sit in church houses with all our candles together and worship God, which is great. It serves its purpose and it's wonderful. But if we're not gonna go out in the world and shine in the darkness, who are, what are we doing? Are we doing any good? Jesus said, I didn't come for those that are whole. He said, I came for those that are sick and in need of a physician. They need healing. The Holy Ghost inside of us, God's Spirit. We're doing these walks. You know why we're walking with God and getting closer to Him? So that we have strength and courage and the fortitude to go out in the darkness and be a witness of His love. Be a witness of His mercy, His truth, His forgiveness. We are witnesses. We stand in the gap and we show people it is possible to live for God in this world. It is possible to turn the other cheek. It is possible to stay away from lying and cheating and stealing. It is possible to have a life filled with peace and compassion. It's possible and we're witnesses of it. Hope you have a wonderful day today. And don't forget, don't ever let the enemy try to discourage you from whatever it is that you're doing in your life to show God's love to the people around you. He's going to tell you that it's insignificant and that it doesn't matter. He'll tell you that nobody's listening or watching. But they are. I've had private messages. Maybe people don't comment on the videos themselves. Maybe they don't hit the like button. That's okay. I didn't start it for numbers. I didn't start it for those likes. I started it because I felt compelled to do it for myself. And I feel like I felt led to do it for other people. And I've received text messages and private messages from people in our community, people out of state that have said, I'm watching, keep walking. I might just start walking with you. We are watching. Your devotions are stirring our heart. Keep going. God's moving through you and through me if we'll listen. And all of our assignments look different. That's okay, they should. But let's get out there and be witnesses. Let's go change our world.